Hallo und willkommen zurück, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin euer lieber Otto. Ich bin zurück bei Simon Max Hit the Road. Nachdem ich letztens drauf gekommen bin, dass im Hintergrund die Musik einfach zu leise ist, habe ich sie jetzt etwas lauter gedreht. Schauen wir mal. Ich werde mir nach der, Na nach der Aufnahme werde ich mir das anschauen. Vielleicht höre ich euch höre ich dann besser. Ähm, das letzte Mal habe ich mir gedacht, wir könnten ja von dem Mammut das Fell abreißen. Und irgendwie haben wir es nicht geschafft und ich glaube, wir könnten es so vielleicht machen. Hey Max! Hey what? I've got a job for those mighty incisors of yours. What? See that woolly mammoth? What about it? Er hat auch das letzte nicht abgepustet. Abgebissen. Okay. Schaut gut aus. Fine work, Max. Now we've got more full woolly mammoth hair than we'll ever need, and we've learned an important lesson. Yeah, the woolly mammoths died of embarrassment. <lacht> okay, ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, dass ich dieses Haar hier mit diesem Ding zusammentun kann. Now we've got a still covered with tar and full woolly mammoth hair. Okay, I've attached Conroy Bumpus Toupee to the Stiltwalker's costume. Wir haben jetzt ein absolut großartiges ähm, Kostüm, um als Bigfoot durchzugehen. I don't think this is the time or place. Okay, also nicht hier. Wir haben ein Kostüm ausgezeichnet. Ausgezeichnet. So, also zurück zur Lady. Und vielleicht können wir uns dort umziehen. Mhm. Äh, zum Tiki Tower. Wie heißt das? Savage. Close enough for Jazz. Let's go. Was? Ah, jetzt weiß ich, wozu wir das Ding brauchen. Da können wir uns drinnen umziehen. Können wir das so machen? I can't use these things together. Nicht? No one to call. Okay, gut. Ähm. Um, Bringen wir nochmal mit. Warte mal. Können wir uns hier einfach sehen? Vielleicht. I guess we could try it on. Ha! Wusste ich's doch. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. If I was in any way inclined to be nice to you fellas, I'd reward your ingenuity by letting you in. Ah, okay, gut. Wir müssen irgendwie nett zu ihm sein. Gut. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, let me in. Not by the numerous hairs on my chinny chin chin. Okay. There must be a way in. Uh, not unless you're a Bigfoot. What's bugging you? We just want to check out the party for a minute to see some friends. Aside from my flea and pick problem, my feet hurt. It's not like a Sasquatch can order up some orthopedic shoes anytime we want. Was für ein Problem hat er? Könntest du bitte aufhören, das Dings dazu dingsen? Ich höre ihn nicht. Was für ein Problem ah, so hat er? Same old, same old. My feet still hurt and you two keep asking stupid questions. Seine Füße tun weh. Hm. 
Haben wir irgendwas für seine Füße? Den Dings vielleicht? Okay. Das haben wir noch nicht ausprobiert, glaube ich. Okay. Okay, das ist wieder wichtig. Okay, das heißt aber jetzt können wir das anziehen, nehme ich mal an, oder? I guess we could try it on. Hey, that's a downright nice Sasquatch costume. I'll let you guys in with that one. Ha! <lacht> Looks like something important's happening. Hundreds of years ago, it was becoming apparent that our time was running out. Yet we were slow to heed the warnings of impending doom. The seemingly slow encroachment of mankind and all that as many living styles entail seemed like a vague and distant problem. A problem for future generations of Yeti to solve. Blithely, we sat back, ignoring our own inner call for action. Tradition and the status quo were our excuses for complacency. The certainty of not just losing our way of life, but possibly our very lives. And the demise of our entire race is now becoming a reality. A reality we can no longer choose to ignore. Okay. As it turns out, the humans and their technology are moving faster than we are. Much faster than we had anticipated. And so, we now face the final crisis. Unless we pull together, not just acknowledging the need for change, but embracing change not just with our hearts and our minds, but with our actions, we will fall behind, moving backward into extinction. Well, back to the music. Okay. Schauen wir uns mal um. He looks happy in a gluttonous kind of way. Have you seen Bruno around? I haven't seen the dude since he rescued me. I hear he's hiding out from a crazy bear and bunny who want to drag him off to an evil carnival. Bear? What was that? Guess. Have you heard from Trixie? I guess she's hiding out with Bruno. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus around here? Is he the guy that coined the phrase, Hang Ten? No, he's a country western star going berserk. Ooh, heinous. So where are all the bodacious Bigfoot babes? Take it easy, Max. You don't even like girls. I don't? Dude, are you like having an argument with your belly button? Uh, no. <laughs> your appetite's bigger than mine. Hey man, if you'd spent the past eight years on a bread and water diet, you'd be scarfing down everything in sight too, dude. Okay. So, fellow <laughs> smelly woodland creature, where have you been hiding for the past few years? Hiding? Dude, I've spent the last eight years manacled to a dunking boot. If Bruno and his girlfriend hadn't rescued me, I'd still be there. Ah, okay, good. Gut, das sind es dürften die Bigfoot sein, die Bruno befreit hat. He looks spooky in a cheery sort of way. She looks friendly in a scary sort of way. Okay. Oh, da gibt's die Ananas zum Betrachten. What choreography? Oh, doch nicht die Ananas. Na, dann sprechen wir mal mit ihm. A third shadow is nine. What are you talking about? Sorry, must have eaten some bad berries. What do you want? Okay, erzähl was. Bruno shown up yet? 
keep your voice down. Bruno's involved in a top secret reconnaissance mission to the alien's home planet. Of Ooh. course, how silly of me to forget. Okay, okay. Aliens kommen also auch vor. Na, ich meine, wir haben schon Aliens gesehen, also so gesehen. Have you seen Bruno's girlfriend anywhere? Shh, she's helping Bruno contact the aliens. Ooh. Oh, yeah. You haven't run into Conroy Bumpus, have you? No, but I know how to deal with him. He has a near-fatal vulnerability to ice, like all beings from the evil planet Snarkton. We'll keep okay. that in mind. Okay, ja, das behalten wir wirklich in mind. Das heißt, er hat eine Schwäche für Eis, weil er ein Alien ist, laut dem, was der da sagt. You're the Bigfoot I've ever seen. I've been fasting in preparation for the day when the aliens come to rescue us. Na, warum? Didn't we meet last summer in Cancun? I don't think so. I was hanging upside down in a block of ice last summer. How'd that happen? Oh, the usual. I was strolling in the Andes, minding my own business, when some idiot mountain climber comes along and yells, Hey, it's the abominable snowman. Next thing I know, there's an avalanche, and I'm covered in 20 feet of snow. When I wake up, I'm hanging upside down in an ice block in some place called the Mystery Vortex. Ja. Okay, das ist der, den wir... Das, das... In die, ähm... Das sind... Äh, das ist der... Wo wir... Na das Fail gefunden haben im Mystery Vortex in der einen Folge, wo wir genau gar nicht weitergekommen sind. Okay. We'll catch you later. Figure a speech. Dann sprechen wir mit ihr auch noch. Come, my darling, let me take you away from all of this. Can Vanuatu come too? Vanuahu? Vanuatu. The Bigfoot Chief. The guy who just gave that speech. My husband! Mm. Don't sweat it, Junior! If I had a tree for every time a teenage Bigfoot's made a drunken pass at me, we surely wouldn't be in the mess we're in today. Not really. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Bruno? Bruno? Why, me and Mr. V have known little Bruno since he was knee-high to a pig. Salt of the earth, Bruno is. Nicest, most generous Bigfoot you'll ever meet. Okay. Dumb as a post, of course, but generous. Why, just the other day I was talking to my manicurist, Kimmy, and I said, Kimmy, that Bruno has got to be the <laughs> dumbest creature to ever walk the surface of the planet. Okay. And she had the nerve to say, Oogly, oogly, oogly. Yada, yada, yada. So, naturally, I said, Oogly, oogly, oogly. Yada yada yada. Wala, Jetzt wala, auch wieder aufzureden. Yada yada. Yip yip yip. Yip yip. Ah, uh, ich glaube auch nicht. Have you seen Trixie around here? Trixie, nice girl, wonderful human being. Complete fashion victim, of course, but so pleasant. Just last week, I was talking to Katie, my <laughs> color consultant, and I said, Katie, <laughs> that Trixie girl wouldn't know if her noose from a sarong if her life depended on it. Then she had the nerve to say. Wapada, wapada, wapada. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Okay, 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 okay. You haven't seen Conroy Bumpus sneaking around, have you? Internationally renowned country western superstar Conroy Bumpus? I've got all his albums. He's the greatest thing since sliced bread. I'd say he's the most gifted entertainer of the 20th century. Okay. He's an immoral cretin, of course, but boy can he sing. I was talking to my chiropractor, Karen, just last month, and I said, Karen, that despicable Conroy Bumpus sure has got a pretty voice. And then she said, yada, yada, yada. Gee, your okay. hair smells terrific. You should talk to my hair care specialist, Janet. She does marvelous work. Why, just last autumn, she was soaking my head, and I said, Janet, you're just about the best hair care specialist I've ever known. And then she's what yeah, 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 yeah. about the pressing Bigfoot issues of the day. God, I can't believe I lived long enough to hear you say that. The answers were all there in my husband's speech. Pull together. Embrace change. Avoid extinction. And if that doesn't work, we'll eat all the humans. Okay. It must be a hoot being married to our commander-in-chief. Oh, it's not that great. 
sure you get to travel, but sometimes you get so lonely. Why, just yesterday I was telling my therapist, Nancy. Nancy, sometimes it's so lonely at the top. And then she said... Yeah, 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 danke. Don't be a stranger. Okay. Schauen wir mal, ob wir da irgendwas nehmen können. He's not my type. Nicht? Können wir da nichts nehmen? Nix, gar nichts. He's not my type. Und nicht einmal die Ballons. Huch. Okay, schauen wir mal, was wir alles sehen. Da hinten ist eine Tür. Da auch eine Tür. It's a freezer. It's a freezer. Ja, okay. It's a nice pick. Den nehmen wir doch glatt. Er weiß, wozu wir den brauchen. Warte mal, was ist das? It's a freezer. Ah, okay. It's a freezer. Können wir reingehen oder? Nein, offensichtlich nicht. Ah, wir können Conroy Bumpers da wahrscheinlich einsperren und umbringen. Oder? Was sagt sie hier? Machen wir wieder zu. Wir gehen auf jeden Fall nicht rein, offensichtlich. Da machen wir mal da hinten die Tür auf. Yikes. Well, 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 a Bigfoot. Sure is a scrawny feller. A Bigfoot in the hand is worth two in the bush, Lee Harvey. Uh, sorry, boss. Think nothing of it, old chap. Now, be a good lad and pop off to the bus and get the next. Yes, sir, Mr. Bumpers. Okay. I'd probably feel more threatened if I wasn't so hungry. You'll be well fed in my menagerie. I'm not really a Bigfoot, you know. Pull the other one. Where'd you get that British accent, anyway? I'm originally from Liverpool, twit. You. Why do you persecute harmless Bigfoots? Harmless? Harmless? I'll have you know my parents were killed by a rabid Bigfoot. Really? Oh, okay. Well, no. Actually, I'm just a warped, evil person who gets his jollies tortured in cute woodland creatures. Well, that's a valid motivation, too. Look, behind you, a three-headed monkey. Nice try. Where'd you get the extra toupee? I'm only gonna say this once. So listen closely. I don't wear a toupee. Okay. You'll never get away with this. Ooh, I'm so scared. Good. Uh, dieses Teil hier. Können wir da was Neues drauf tun? I'd better take the cup off first. Don't make a move. Don't make a move. Okay. Hmm. Don't make a move. Don't make a move. Okay. Äh, uh, puh. Können wir... Können wir rausgehen? Don't make a move. Nein, können wir nicht. 
Time to make a move. Time to make a move. Time to make a move. Okay, kann ich meinen Hasen auf ihn ansetzen? Time to make a move. Time to make a move. Okay. Ich bin ein wenig irritiert. Was soll ich hier machen? Okay. Irgendwie müssen wir hier herauskommen, oder? Nochmal mit ihm reden. Hey Conroy, what do you want? Really? I'm not a Bigfoot. Prove it. Ah, das heißt, wir müssen es ausziehen, vielleicht dann. You'll never get away with this. Ooh, I'm so scared. Okay. Maybe this will convince you that I'm not a Bigfoot. You again? I left the net back in Bumpersville. Forget the net. We're gonna disguise ourselves as a Bigfoot. Why? So we can infiltrate their ranks, learn their ways, and pick them off at our leisure. Oh. And no funny stuff, dog boy. Yeah. Help me with my zipper. I think you got that on backward. Hey, Max, why don't you make yourself useful? That was fun. Now future generations will be able to enjoy his atonal warblings. Are there any more shrimp balls back here? Who, who are you? We're the freelance police. We just saved your collective hash. Really? Hmm. Then I guess it'd be okay to make you honorary Yeti chiefs. Walk this way. Can I have your attention, please? Yeah. Yeah. Although it's our tradition to allow only Bigfoots and their dates to these gatherings, these two have shown themselves worthy of our gratitude and our trust. These are a naive people. And so I'm granting them the title of Honorary Bigfoot Chief. So don't mess with them. That's it? Honorary Bigfoot Chief? Where's the cash? We don't want Bigfoot money, Max. It's probably made of tree bark or something. I know, but it's the principle of the thing. You may now wander freely about the convention floor without concern for your health. Gee, thanks. Think nothing of it. Follow me. Okay. Ooh. What is that? Shot cool off. Nach einem Since you have proven yourselves to be friends of the Yeti, I have brought you here to share in our biggest secret. These great totem poles have been gathered from across the world and passed down from generation to generation of Bigfoots. Like fruitcake. We believe they hold the answer to our ultimate salvation. But the secret of their purpose is a riddle we've been unable to fathom. Sounds heavy. Like fruitcake. It's real heavy. Bruno. Like fruitcake. Why aren't you at the party? Who can party while their world comes to an end? Most of your mange-ridden brethren, apparently. Uh, I told you it was a bad idea to spike the punch. I thought it would loosen up everyone's imagination. <laughs> no wonder we're facing extinction. Okay, guys, here's the situation. The Bigfoot way of life is rapidly going down the tubes. These totem poles might be able to save us, but A, we don't know what they mean. B, most of us have been partying too much to figure out what they mean. And C, we Bigfoots have a hard time operating in public, if you know what I mean. We wouldn't normally be asking for help, but we're desperate. Well, that's how we get most of our gigs, so why not? <laughs> Great. Why don't you three get cracking on the totem poles? I'm going to the hot tub. 
Okay, ist das dieser Mühe-Typ, den wir schon mal gesehen haben? Ich glaube, wir werden hier abspeichern. A patron saint of Bigfoots? Der, äh, wir hatten doch schon ein, ein, dieses Gemälde in Dingswill. Da haben wir den gesehen. Yep, that's Bruno, the veritable holy grail of our mission. Dentistry? Das ist ein Dinosaurier. What is this? Some kind of tornado? Ah, das ist der Vortex, die Dinos. Was ist das? Keine Ahnung. Das ist ein Füllhorn. Looks like a before and after shot. A before and after shot. Ah, das sind zwei Gesichter ineinander. Oder? Ja, sprechen wir mal mit ihm oder machen wir Schluss für heute? Ja, machen wir Schluss für heute, bevor wir mit ihm sprechen. Meine Lieben, ich hoffe es hat euch gefallen. Wir sehen uns bald wieder. Bis dann. Ciao.